night. The other night, we were watching the classic Johnny Depp movie called What's Eating Gilbert Grape, one of his early films. Well, today, we're going to talk about What's Eating My Ruby Brussels Sprouts. Look at that cute little white moth. But they are deadly. Not to you or me, but to my brassica family plants. They also have been eating some of my lettuce too. Now they themselves don't eat. It's their eggs. I started this from seed about three months ago in the greenhouse. And then two and a half months ago, planted it. And it has a sturdy stock. And the Brussels sprouts are coming along. But look at this. Look at those leaves. Something's been munching the leaves. And if left unintended, would kill the whole plant. What they were, were cabbage worms. They come from that cute little white moth that lays eggs. They love brassica. Brussels sprouts, cabbage, broccoli. And the eggs, they hatch into little threads, about a quarter of an inch. And like any young'un, they eat and eat and eat. And within a few days, those little threads become plump cabbage worms. Now they're easy to spot, they're uh, neon green. So I would come out every morning and pick them off, trying to stay organic, no poisons. I would pick them off, throw them into a bucket of water. Well, after a month and a half, I must have destroyed 200 little cabbage worms and they kept coming. So I tried some BT, B as in Bob, T as in Tom, Bacillia thuringiensis or something. It's a natural occurring bacteria from the soil and you can buy it and spray it on and it disrupts the eggs to larva production. But in my case, it wasn't happening fast enough. The eggs just kept coming. So then I went to neem oil, N-E-E-M. That -E comes, it's an extract from neem seeds, whatever a neem is. And uh, it's not a poison. It coats the exoskeleton and suffocates the bug's body. Well, guess what? A cabbage worm does not have an exoskeleton. So that didn't work. So finally I broke down and I bought some insecticidal soap. Now you could make this. You don't have to go buy it. Use a biodegradable detergent and any kind of oil. Mix them together with water and spray it on. So now I've been doing that for the last month. And look at the difference. We went from eaten leaves to leaves that have not been eaten at all. Look at that, they're doing fine. And the butterflies are still off laying eggs other places, but they're not hurting my plant. So you can be an organic gardener and still use some of these biodegradable, organic, earth-friendly, products to get rid of those bugs.